And you have Andrew Toasty Tosty, another friend of the podcast. He's filled in for me. He's filled in for you. Uh, he's going into uh, A1 uh, championship, right? Uh, your eye favors, A1 combat. Yep. For, for the first ever. Uh, Look at this picture. The dude, silhouette. It was so sick getting to watch him walk out with the. I mean, it was just so cool. Uh, hey, Will, but can we make a shirt of this silhouette with these colors oh, sure. like this that I'm says sure. toasty on top? <laughs> I'm sure. Let's do it. Wouldn't but so anyway, sick? so so he so he gets the call for A1 Combat, um, and it's for he's still amateur, right? But it's for the first ever title amateur title that a1 combat has ever done because a1 does amateur show and then they go on to fight pass for their pro show um but this is for an amateur belt the first ever amateur belt at a1 combat and uh jim cooley's do the he's like a part owner of a1 with Gray favor that's the guy that i did commentary for for oh he's part owner. commentary with I, I believe so uh because when i was doing commentary oh, with him partner. Yeah, yeah. Because when I was doing, I did commentary with him at CCFC in Santa Cruz, where Toasty defended his belt, right? Um, the amateur belt over in Santa Cruz. And when I was talking to him, uh, he was telling me about like A1 Combat. He just did A1 Combat the night before. And he was talking about how um, he's working with Uriah on it for like a, a bunch of different things. So I think he is, he's, he's, he's head up. He's not just the commentator there. Um, and, it was cool watching the stream because they're talking about, all right, this is the main event of the prelims. First ever title fight for amateurs in A1 combat history. And he's like, when he's like, I got to match make this. And when they said they want to do an amateur belt, the first person I thought was Andrew Toasty Tosti. And I was like, yeah, oh, that's, that's sick, so dude. Sick. It was just so cool. And then uh, so he's like, I called him immediately. The the guy he was supposed to fight uh, pulled out. Uh, Nicholas Kalunga steps in. They fight at bantamweight. You know. Yeah, and they fight at bantamweight at 135. Toasty normally fights 145, 155. I texted him uh, when I saw the, after the weigh-ins. I texted him. I was like, "Dude, how do you feel at 135?" And he's like, "I almost quit like six times last night." And I was like, "Fuck!" Oh wow. And I was like, "Oh man, dude, this is, that's a hard cut because we've seen him fight at 155." Yeah. Uh, and then he goes out there, and they just they put on such a great fight, dude. They're trading shots, trading punches, excellent scrambles, uh, and. Man, it, it was just so cool to see uh, because in the past when we've seen Tosi lose in his losses, um, it's usually from later on in the fight getting taken down and someone just kind of controlling, right? Yeah. Um, and in this fight, there was – and I'm not saying he's accepting that position in those because I know how hard it is uh, to get out of those positions. But in this, there was – zero hesitation anytime he would get taken down he's working off something you know he's not he, his back was never flat against the ground uh he's working angles he's cage walking he, he scoots back to the cage to get back up like just a hundred percent urgency and i'd like to talk to i talked to him a, a little bit last night after the fight but we should probably we should have him on so we can talk about it in depth um but i wonder how he felt at 135 and if that if, if he had just like a ton of energy at 135 somehow uh because Did they fight I mean, at 145 looked, though i thought uh uh, he said saying, that, but yeah. he was he was wrong. Jim okay. Cooley said that, but yeah, they were wrong. They fought at one thirty five, um, and then in the third round, it's like, oh man, this is pretty cl- this is a pretty close fight. In the third round, Tosi gets on top, he mounts him, and you see him trap the arm like this. Yes, and once he has the arm trapped, he has it with the far side grip, and he starts to posture up. I was like, dude, he's gonna get the finish here. Yeah, like, he's gonna because you could see any time Tosi was on top. He, he postures up and he starts throwing bombs. It wasn't just like control. It was, I'm trying to get you out. And we've seen him win through ground and pound before, right? Uh, ground and pound to a choke usually, right? And uh, and this was no different because he, he postures up full mount, has the arm trap. He's just blasting right hands uh, and then ends up letting go of the arm and just, just trading shots, uh, alternating shots, steps over with the right leg old trick that I, that one of one of my favorite tricks in full mount is when you post that right leg uh and then the guy who's on bottom's like there's there's some escape right there and they'll hook they'll they'll feed their arm to get like an underhook on your leg to try to scoot out that back door but all that does is just get your leg right in position for a triangle and you just roll with them and so he his legs up and that kind of happens he gets swept but immediately locks up the triangle and i was like holy shit and then 
<laughs> I love when people do this, and it's great when it's your friend who does it. Uh, but <laughs> as soon as he locked up the triangle, he reaches up, grabs the shin, pulls it down, locks it, like really locks it, postures back, and just starts throwing hooks because <laughs> your, your head is just stuck there. Yep. Throwing hooks until Kalinga tries to like maybe try to block those, and then he just grabs that arm, throws it across, grabs his legs, and pulls him in close, gets the choke. What a fun sequence that was. It's from the arm trap to the ground pound to the the sweep to triangle and the, the punches. And then it was just, it was like Paul Craig versus uh, Mooney is just a very fun, like uh, all the steps in the sequence was just really yeah. cool to see, you know? You don't get yeah, that very often. The, the transitions from Tosi were beautiful, man. Uh, not only was he doing really well off his back and getting a lot of sweeps, uh, mm-hmm. but when he was... Uh, in top mount or full mount and then you know kalinga was trying to escape and roll out like tosi did such a good job of taking whatever kalinga was giving him yeah not forcing any one position just accepting mm-hmm. the different position kalinga would be in and then working off of that uh yeah it, so it, it was just a beautiful performance Dude, for tosi man and and that big right he landed I, too i was like Ooh, i know bubble got hit yeah yeah uh and jim cooley's great on, on commentary Corey McKenna, UFC fighter Corey McKenna out of Alpha Male, obviously, uh, is also doing commentary with him. And she's seeing it. She's like, oh, he, beautiful, tri-, like the setup of this triangle. And like, as he's getting swept, Jim Cooley's like, oh, a reversal. But while he's saying it's a reversal, Corey McKenna is like, oh, what a beautiful triangle setup. And it was like, this is so sick. And then the, the way Jim Cooley called the finish of the fight, too, was just like, I got goosebumps when when he when he called it. Uh, actually, Rich... Uh, I think we have the clip. We should have the clip. Um, if you want to play that, just the YouTube link. Hopefully, we'll get taken down. I don't think we'll get taken down. It was on YouTube. Oh, the, the stream true, was on true. YouTube. Richard, right. do you have that uh, that link? Should be in the private chat. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, my bad, my bad. I was, I thought you had it, but I got it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. If I, sh- I can't share with audio. Oh Spire man, Fox I Fox love Fox. it when Rich hops on. Even if it's just for a few seconds, you know? I know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, so like you said, first, Emmy title. Look at that. Holding the belt. Uh, just oh, fantastic for Tosi. Oh, here we go. Look, Kalunga's there and he is threatening with stuff. And it does get the arm trap to open up scrambles and. Yeah, look at the wrist that. control. Absolutely. Tosi on top, landing big shots. He's got that or had that right arm pinned. Here comes Andrew Tosti Tosti. He wants that A1 gold and he wants it bad. You can yeah, keep the I volume where it's at, Rich. At Look at Kalunga with the reversal, but he might have got caught in the triangle. You hear me, Ken? A beautiful yeah, triangle a roll. landing shot from the Look bottom. The shots. crowd is going nuts. Beautiful job. That is deep. He got the arm across. He's got everything there locked up. That that might be it. Tosti looking for A1 yeah, gold. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, Tosti Tosti looking for A1 gold, and he's going to get it. The first ever A1 keep playing, Rich. Amateur title bout. Oh, here first ever A1 combat amateur title. Come Our on. Rock Casino Resort, Andrew Tosti Tosti has made history. Nico and then they show the replay here, too. Opponent. He looked very good coming out of last stand fight team, but he picks up the victory here tonight. Maybe skip forward like five seconds, the first ever A1 combat I think we, uh, amateur champion. we're playing some music a little bit. Oh, yeah, look at this. Like locking up that triangle. You know, he Big shots from Tosti up top. As he turns, he actually goes and with him. his arm's already set up. Roll him here. Yep. He rolled with him. Damn. So he almost like let him feel like he was lights him up. He used that to lock up the triangle. He caused some damage to distract him. And then him, grabs the arm, the arm once he gives it to him. And that was all she wrote. Just perfect. So your first ever A1 amateur title. Holder will be Toasty. How cool is that, man? Look at the way he walks off with his arms up. Look at that. Oh my god. I mean, come on, dude. How cool is that? Goosebumps, man. Goosebumps. So super happy for uh, super happy for Toasty. Look at the picture of him holding that first Ami belt for A1 combat. Uh, well deserved. Amateur belt under Uriah Faber's organization, dude. Come on. (laughs) <laughs> that might not mean as much to everybody else, but like being from California, like that's it's so sick, dude. Uriah Faber, Cal- like it's just so like it's it's awesome. It's so sick. It, it, it's amazing. So congratulations, Andrew Toasty, uh, making uh, SOF super proud. You know, and uh, can't wait to have him on again so we can talk about it. Same thing with Landry. I, yeah. I would love to be able to go through a couple clips so he can walk us through his fight. Uh, same thing Definitely. with uh, Andrew Toasty. Uh, and then we'll go from there, man. But, uh, man, what a weekend, huh? 
Hey everybody, Ramiro and Will here. Thank you so much for watching that short clip. It's just a small clip of what we covered this last Sunday. Yeah, if you want to check out the full fight card recap, uh, the link is in the description and it's going to be on screen at the end here. Uh, don't forget to go back and watch our fighter interviews that we have. Uh, and don't forget to tune in live every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern, uh, and you can join in on the fun. Yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It goes a long way. All right, everybody, thanks for watching that short clip from Story of the Fight.